here it is. Double Masters release day. Went to my local game store, and like two minutes before the store opened, these were delivered. They are foil. They are the, uh, the buy a box promos that you can get. I think it's kind of cool that they did two promos, two buy a box foil promos. Uh, I do not have either of these. I had a Wrath of God a long time ago, the revised one. But it's good to have, it's good to have a board wipe and uh, <laughs> regenerated back when that was a thing. And a Convo Court of Calling spell. All right, so those are nice. Nice gets. Now, just like you, I have watched plenty of booster box openings on YouTube. And I've seen, I have not seen a great box opening yet. I've seen some good ones. I haven't seen a great one, you know, like the God, the God box, you know, the, 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 the box gods have not been shining down on me recently, unfortunately. Uh, it'd be nice to get something good for the cost of this box. $300, you know, plus it was like 300 and something tax and everything. And there's the box topper, which, yeah, I will open that last. I'll open that last. Uh, but, you know, the, most of the mythics are pretty damn good. Most. Uh, of the foil, uh, of the box topper mythics are pretty darn good. Uh, there are some dud mythics in this box. And there are a lot of bulk rares. That they should have called it double bulk rare because that's, we're going to get a lot. So I'm going to try to do this a little bit differently than, uh, you know, so we'll start with this pack here. We will, here in fact, up here, up here, and up here. We will separate the rares, bulk rares, mythics. And let's start. So I have not, uh, this is the first master's product of anything that I've ever opened, Urza's Tower. Well, I'll go through all that later. I don't want to do it now. Buried Ruin. And we will get our first rare, and it's coming. <sighs> Heat Shimmer. Create a token that's a copy of target creature, except that it has haste, and at the beginning of the turn, exile that permanent. Uh -huh. And a conjurer's closet, and a frogify, and a cast, uh, cast. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. This is a good pack to start. I will put the commons, the uncommons here, three uncommons, okay. The bulk rares, the good rares, and we'll put the foils here, and we'll put the token, I guess the token goes there. It's just one-sided. All right, so that's that's how we're gonna do it. I think the Conjurer's Closet's actually a decent rare. Uh, yeah. I look at rares as, do A, do I like them? Yeah, yeah, rares that I consider decent, do I like them? When I actually play them in a deck, do they have any uh, financial value? Uh, so there, I might have a, a card that I think is a cool rare that you might not, just based on our own personal peccadillos or whatever they are. I don't even know if that made sense, but that's how I'm doing it. And let's see, is that? No, it's not. I thought that might have been a Therese Nielsen card. She has been banned. Uh, Master Splicer. All right, so, and again, I will go through the uncommons and stuff later because I know there are some good uncommons. And, oh, like Oblet. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't I, I never owned, I really have not owned, I once owned an Arabian Nights Jasmine Gin a long time ago and sold it. It's, it's an unplayable card, but it's worth a lot of money. Anyway. And we got a high market. And Tuk Tuk the Explorer. See, I kind of like Tuk Tuk. That might be sort of like a bulk. And we get, oh, God. Oh. Let's, I'm going to put that in the bulk pile. I'll put Tuk Tuk in the good rare pile. Actually, you know what? I will put high market in the good rare pile. The first foil rare that we get. Whenever a player taps a land for mana, that player adds one mana of any type that land produced. It's not really that good of a foil rare. I am going to, I guess I'll keep it in the foil pile for the time being, but that's a disappointment. Now, I think we'll get at least, and you know, these packs open pretty easily, we'll get at least two uh, foil rares. We might even get four. If it's double masters, we might get four foil rares. I don't know. But that that's just disappointing. Oh, God, you know, like... Uh, all right, so one, two, three, reshape, uh, add a, uh, sacrifice an artifact. This goes in the bulk rare pile. Oh, wow, look at that. Sword of body and mind. We got a mythic. Uh, and that player mills 10 cards. Oh, my goodness. 
Uh, all right, well, look, that's a good mythic. All right, very good. We'll put our mythics there, and we get uh, it, these two and a thopter. So, all right, look, I can't complain. That's a good... I am curious to see... Normally, in a regular booster box, you get at least... I, I've i never gotten less than, than three mythics. Uh, usually, I get three, four mythics. Depends on the box. So, I'm. do we get six mythics in this box? I, you know, I, or, uh, rares, mythic rares. Yeah, I hope so. Pongify is kind of cool. I like that. All right, one, two. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. That, that, that dark confidant, can't complain about that. And a crappy terrestodon. That goes in the bulk rare pile. Ooh, and a foil Urza's tower and a golem artisan and a servo. All right. Hey, look, so far in the first, what, three packs or so, I have pulled two pretty darn good mythic rares that that's that's good stuff right there and uh i actually could use an extra because i have four already uh dark confidence but there is another deck i could use one in so it's nice to have that and let's keep going so far so good that's i can't complain let's let's see if this box yields anything even better and it could and we get an inkwell leviathan island walk trample shroud and it costs nine to get out Bulk rare pile. Bosch Iron Golem. I'm going to put that in the bulk rare pile. Uh, yeah, I like that it's legendary artifact creature. It goes in the bulk rare pile. And I could be wrong on some of these. Maybe some of these are actually good rares that I'm putting there. But yeah, so far, no. I, I, I think I'm calling them accurately. Is High Market from Arcadian Masks? I think it might have been. I forget. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, there's no. Are there any cards that I really would like to get in this box? I, you know, I can't. It's to me, this is fun. I ask myself, why do I spend this much money? And it's a lot of money. Fatal push, good and common. I enjoy doing this. I, I just do. I have to admit, it's a hobby I've always liked, and this keeps me tied to it. And I will sell some cards. Court of Calling, non foil, box topper. I actually kind of like this artwork better than. But that's okay. That's all right. I, I'll put that in the good rare pile. And a Phyrexian Metamorph, the, you get box toppers of these all the time in those videos. Uh, I will put this in the good rare pile. And we have two more. All right. I haven't really looked at the foils. I, I'm just looking to see if they're rare, mythic rare. Uh, but so far, look, the mythics have been good. Uh, I, look, there are some dud mythics you can pull, absolutely. Uh, so far, so good on that front. And let's see. All right, so these are the commons. And we have one, two, three. Engineered Explosives is a good rare. There was a time when this thing went for a lot. But look, it's a good rare. Can't complain. Hey, a Stoneforge Mystic. I want to get one of those. I don't have one. Very good pack. Uh, and we'll put them in the good rare pile. And Death Code Cobra, Death Touch, and Reach until the end. That's, I like that. I always like Death, Death Touchers. And Eldrazi Spawn. Spawn. Okay. Wow. All right. So the first, the first stack. I, I can't complain about this first stack. Uh, well, maybe I can. Depends on how this pack goes. But let's. So far, so good. All right. And let's see. Hidden stockpile. One. Two. Deep close. Skate. And there's Battlefield. Double the number of each kind of counters at any number of target permits. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm putting that in the bulk rare pile. Ooh, a Toxic Deluge. All right. This is a very good first stack. And that's a that's a good rare to get. And I can use it. Sweet. Uh, good rare pack. Good rare. And we get Vamp, Vamp, Foil, Vampire, Hex Mage, and an Ape. Okay. All right. That's... Look, uh, I, that's so far so good. I'm not doing values or anything. I, I, I'm i just not doing that. They're going to be all over the place. And, you know, I, I am going, it's a, I will go through this and, you know, I'll, I, I likely will put a lot of things up on eBay. Uh, or maybe I won't. Who knows? I will go and try to put sets of the power plants. I've never played Tron. I really don't care to play Tron. Uh, so, I, yeah, I don't care. And here we go. And Darksteel Citadel, Core Tapper, Flicker Wisp, and let's see. Whoa, Trinosphere. That's actually a decent mythic. And that is one that will be sold on eBay because I have one already. This is a terrible rare. This is a bulk rare. This should not have been uh, a rare in the set. But that's, look, that it, that's what they did. But Trinosphere is a good card, and all right, and oh, he's a shapeshifter, and he's farming. Isn't that sweet? 
All right, whatever. All right. Uh, oh, wait, that's a mythic, right? Yeah, we got to put that in the mythic pile. Sorry about that. So these are good mythics. That's that's not bad. Uh, those, those are good ones. I have to go back and look what all the swords are. I know the sword that untaps the mana uh, is, is a good one. Uh, th so that one might be one of the lesser ones, but still, whatever. All right, so let's go through these. All right, and a treasure mage, galvanic blasts, chief of the foundry, and a spell skite. Uh, I'll put that in the good rare pile. I've seen so many of these open. I, now, I'll put this in the good rare pile only because I kind of like it. I like the artwork. I like the fact that it's this big slumbering monster, and my son likes Kraken, so I'll put that in the good rare pile, even though others might not. Okay. All right. I'm enjoying this. I am enjoying this. And uh, this is the only box of these I'm getting. Uh, I, I just, it's, and you'll understand why in the next video. Uh, but yeah, this is the only box of these that I'm getting. And to me, it's fun. I'm hoping to get some good stuff, some stuff that I can resell, some stuff that I can keep that I like. I know that that's a good thing. Uh, that, that's a good uncommon. I like that they've put some actual decent uncommons in this set. And what the hell is this? Each player who has cast a non artifact fell can't cast additional non-artifact spells. Okay, uh, no, I can understand. Oh, sneak attack. That brings me back. That's I, that, Look, I'm not going to complain about that mythic. It's it's better than that Lord of Geth. I hope to God I don't get it. Uh, Mirror Retriever. So sneak attacks. Now, that I'd be disappointed if I got that as the box topper, but we'll see. So four, four mythics so far, and I really can't complain about any of them. Uh, you know, yeah, of course we know what the bigots are. We haven't hit any of them. We would know if we did. And no, who knows? Still got a little bit to go. Okay. Uh, da, da. Yeah, I've watched a lot of box openings. And uh, what's the first one? Uh, sh oh, that's a terrible rare. Oh, that's a terrible rare. I got, I got in front of my skis, as they say. So we've got one absolute god-awful rare. Uh, it's just... Uh, th that, this is why bulk rare double masters. And, ooh, Academy Ruins. Good, good card. Good card. That will, that will go online. That will go on sale. And I've really only pulled that one. Uh, let me just make sure, but I'm pretty sure it's the only one I've pulled so far. Let's find it. Uh, wow, I pulled it early, didn't I? Yep, there it is. Heartbeat of Spring. I Again, I think I... I don't know if that one's been reprinted before or not. I'm just not that impressed by it. Uh, you know, it's, not, it's not the... Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, no, that's right. No, I'm good. I'm good. All right. Let's, let's keep moving. All right, let's keep moving. And let's see. Yeah, would I like to get a forcible? Yes, to sell. Not not really to play. All right. Ooh, well, let's see, I get a uh, Ratchet Bomb. I'll put that in the good rare pile only because I've, I've heard that it's a fun card to play. It can be helpful in certain sideboards. Uh I kind of like Blast Zone better just because it can be, this can be dealt with a little bit easier than the Blast Zone, but, and Voice of Resurgence is not a bad, and they downgraded it from Mythic to this. Cast a spell during your when it dies, create a green white, this uh, definitely a number of free, that, that's, I like that. So I'll put that in the good rare pile. I, I, I am pleased to say that the good rare, good rare pile is, is taller than the bad one. Now let's see. All right, with my champion Thopter. All right, so this second stack, we're winding down. Three left in the second stack. Not as good as the first stack, but not not terrible. Not terrible. I mean, look, you're going to get duds. It's without a doubt, just to set, you're going to get duds. So let's see. And all right, like like uh, Guild Pack Sphinx. More <laughs> uh, Cut Banshee. Well, that looks like a, well, we'll see. A unlicensed, I don't know what that is. And Ooh, Goblin Guide. That's a good rare. And I actually like, <laughs> I do like the art in that. You know, that, that footbridge reminds me of the one from Temple of Doom. Anybody? Anyone? Okay, anyway. And Endless Atlas. Draw a card, act this ability, control it. Uh, all right, well, look, I'm going to put that in the good rare pile. Endless Atlas goes there. And uh, Maelstrom Pulse and Merit Lage. All right, so I actually, would, I actually could use this. I actually like that as a as a playable card so i'm not i'm not upset by that i would like to get hopefully another foil rare but we'll we'll see we've got two foil rares so far four mythics and uh so uh, we've got uh, some good decent rares and i can't complain 
All right, onward. Onward, is that another? Oh, this is mine. Yeah, I'm gonna go through these and I'll, I'll sort through the mines and everything. I'm not gonna put a set of this together. Okay. Oh, that's our first one of those uh, filter lands. All right, I have none of them. Magus of the Will. Ah, all right, so we'll put you in the good pile. We'll put you in the bad pile. You need to try harder. And, all right, yeah, I'm not, I mean, you, you, you play Yagmas will. All right, try to do that. I understand what that is. I would rather get Magus of the Abyss if I was going to get one of those. Oh, well. And the filter lands, eh, yeah, it would have been better. Can you imagine if they did this set with uh, the fetch lands? Can you imagine? Oh, my God. All right. But Wizards will not do that because that would be a good thing to do in this product, but they didn't. And whatever. Salt Monolith. All right. That takes me back. Dismantle. And Beacon of Unrest. Uh, put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Shuffle it. Actually, I, I like what it can do. I don't like what this can do. Uh, this was, I think this is in one of the most recent Commander decks. So, eh. Ooh, uh, Foil Manamorph. De definitely going to go on eBay. Unlicensed Disintegration and a Servo. All right, so the second stack is done. And uh, again, the the good pile, at least in my estimation, is bigger than the uh, uh, the bulk pile. So let's go, last stack. Let's go, let's go, come on. I think we stalled out in that second stack. So let's, let's see if we can uh, go out with somewhat of a bang on the third. All right. Yeah, I was at my local game store today. I picked this up, pre-ordered it. And uh, a guy bought four boxes of this, I think, uh, like a case. I'm like, wow. And I, you know, I thought I spent a lot of money, and I did spend a lot of money. Um, uh, anyway, so yeah, there are, there are high rollers out there. I don't consider myself a high roller. I, I, I do consider myself somebody who enjoys magic, who probably spends too much money on it, but yeah. Oh, exploration, very excellent rare, excellent rare. And Sculpting Steel. You may have entered the battlefield as a copy of any artifact on the battlefield. That's actually a cool, that, that I like that. I like that. And Exploration, that's a good one. I know that's an Urza Saga. And so, all right. Let's keep going. Let's keep booking along. This sack, this is a good box. This, this is a good box. And I'd still like us to go out, and we haven't even gotten to the box toppers yet, so hopefully there's something good in there. Uh, I don't know if I've made $300 back on this, but uh, I've gotten some good stuff, without a doubt. Another bobble. Oh, I'm going to sell places of these things. And Savage, Salvage Titan. Uh, you may sacrifice three artifacts. Uh, exile. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. And uh, something or other engineer. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting uh, artwork. It looks like a, looks like a sliver. Uh, I guess it's a myrrh, whatever. Uh, I'll, mm, I'm sorry. I just, I, it, to me, that's not really that good. All right. Getting down, getting down to the end. But it is a good box. Uh, this is a good box. Haven't gotten any home, like what I would consider a home run rare. Actually, that's not true. There are, there are some really, we'll go through it. We'll go through it at the end. We'll go through it. All right. Good. Another metamorphosis. And Mr. Factory, that's, all right. Yeah, there are some good ones. Another one of those filter lands. I'll put that in the good pile. Uh, and a terrible Grim Lava Mancer that was in. Jumpstart, and that's just not good. That's not good, Wizards. All right, getting down to the end. I, yeah, I can't see myself buying uh, packs of these. I, I just can't. You know, just regular packs, can't do it. Uh, let's see. There are some box toppers that I would like to buy. I will buy them individually. You can only really get the box toppers if you buy individual boxes or or the the, the uh, uh, VIP packs. So, Lightning Greaves. All right, I do want to get one of those. Very good, very good. Oh, Land Tax. Excellent, excellent. There is a deck that this can go right in. This is an a excellent Mythic and a terrible Mythic. Wow. Wow, what a terrible... Oh, wow, Wizards, next time buy me some dinner before you fuck me, because that's what you just did there. All right, well, look, that's... All right, that's... Oh, what a dud rare that was. I, look, I I like it. It's just a terrible rare... For, in, in fact, we're going to put you on the bottom. There you go. That's where you go. Uh, but Lantax certainly made up for that. Oh, God, that was awful. 
Oh. Ah, sorry, the alarm on my phone went off, of course, but the, look, whatever. These aren't going out to patrons. These, these are going out to me, now. I just gotta stitch the damn video together because I forgot to turn off the alarm on my phone. That is my fault. Welding jar, weapons trainer, and uh, Isakon's went, went, uh, exile an instant card with a converted mana cost two or less. So you can just keep copying like a counter spell on that. That's kind of cool. And Oblivion Stone. Uh, mm, I'll put this in the good pile, and I don't know if Oblivion Stone is any good. I really don't. And we will put this. All right, a clue. All right, so three left. Three left. Uh, come on, let's go. That that Geth, whatever the thing is, that that just that was disappointing. That was disappointing. No doubt about it. All right, Disciple of the Vault. License disintegration again, control, and Sunforger. That's actually a decent, again, that's another decent rare from what I've seen and heard. Uh, all right. And Tempered Steel. Artifact creatures you control, good. That goes in the bulk rare pile. Yep. And I'd like to get a, uh, a Foil Mythic rare in one of these. Haven't gotten it yet. Haven't gotten one of them yet. I mean, I'd like to see, will there be another? I'd like to think that there would be another foil rare, but that's you know, normally you get two in a box. Maybe they're keeping it like that for double masters. Who knows? All right, so one, two, four. Oh, meddling mage, one of the worst box. Uh, those are box toppers. Oh, they're terrible. I do not want to get one. Merciless eviction. I, uh, this is not a good pack. Not a good pack. Bulk rare pile. And all right, last pack. Uh, let's see if it's any good. Uh, but all in all, so far, it, it, and again, we gotta do the box toppers, and we will be doing the box toppers. All right. All right, let's just go through these. Again, I will go, th there are some really good uncommons in this set. Thank you, Wizards, for doing that. Oops, see, I got so distracted by that last terrible pack, I didn't put the angel token up there. Okay, here we go. Deus, Langan, Disciple of Bolas. That is not a good rare. Let's please go out on a good rare, please. Greater good it, 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 on a good rare. Well, all right. It actually is a decent rare, so I will put that there. That will go in the bulk rare pile. And all right, so the box toppers. This is what, this is a really, I think this is a really good box. These box toppers could put it over the top, could, could launch it over the top. Let's just see what we get. So six mythics, which is all right. One bad mythic, and I just want to be kind of jump. Here we go. All right, let's see what we got. First one is a terrible crop rotation. That is awful. Uh, Council's Judgment, that is gonna be sold on eBay. I am not, this is just a very good box. These are very disappointing as far as box toppers go. This, honestly, I, I understand that this one can be used and it might be decent, uh, but this is just terrible. They should not have upgraded crop rotation to uh, a rare. So that, that is disappointing, but overall, uh, I am pleased with my box. Uh, I, I Let's go over the, first let's go over the mythics. Land tax really helped. Getting a land tax, sneak attack Trinisphere, getting another Dark Confidant, getting the Sword of Body and Mind, and this guy who should hang his head in shame. But these are some pretty solid mythics. Uh, there, no Jace, right? You know, we did not get a uh, Force of Will, no Karn. Uh, but these are all, there are some really good solid rares here too. Exploration's good. Uh, again, I don't know if Beacon of Unrest is any good, but uh, Goblin Guide's a good one. Voice of Resurgence, pretty good. Ratchet Academy Ruins, I just like that. I, you know, that's, we all have them. Toxic Deluge is really good. Engineered Explosive. Stoneforge Mystic, Phyrexian Metamorph, Court of Calling. Uh, again, I, I like that. So, and again, so for the, the crappy bulk rares, let's see here. Disciple of Bolas, terrible. Meddling Mage, uh, and Tempered Steel. And again, some of these could be useful, I suppose. Like, if you're going to build a, that kind of a commander deck, yeah, I guess that would be nice. Salvage, that's just a terrible card. Doom Necromancer, that's just not good. Magus of the Will, no. Endless Atlas, Germanic Revelation, Swift Blade, uh, Inkwell Leviathan. So, yeah, I might just put lots on, on eBay. So I am going to try to sell some of these to make some of the money back, without a doubt. And, uh... But overall, here we go. Uh, I am pleased with my box of Double Masters. I do not see myself getting another one. Uh, this was fun. I hope you all enjoyed it.